This video is just a general overview of the Blue Iris software. Um, up here in the top left we have a camera link. This is where you program your cameras. If you're a technician you'll be in here. If you're an end user uh, this is a great place to mess your system up. So I recommend that you don't go in here if you're an end user. Same thing with the tools. Again this is a configuration page and I don't recommend that you go in here uh, for any reason if you're an end user. The third link is for a browser. All, all that does is just generate the same view that you would see if you were trying to log into the software remotely. It's more of a testing link than it is anything else. Status bar, all it does is just give you the status of your system. If there's an alert in here, uh, you'll see this little X down here turns red. If you come in and hit clear and get rid of the status messages, then that red X will go away. Um, this is a snapshot. If you just click it once, and you'll notice that a snapshot is produced over here and it just takes a picture of what you're currently looking at on the full screen or if you have multiple cameras it'll be the camera that's highlighted that it will take the snapshot of and it just drops it in your video clip link over here same thing with this this is video if you want to make a quick video you click once to start you watch what happened you click stop again to stop it this is your traffic signal. Because it's green, that just means it's recording and it's doing its thing based upon the profiles that were set up by your technician when the equipment was installed. If you click on it one time, it turns red. That tells you that it's doing nothing. Everything has stopped. You still have live video, but it's not going to record and it won't produce any video to be seen remotely uh, via your iPad or your iPhone or Internet Explorer. Click it again, it turns yellow and a timer starts. And what's going to happen is in a minute or so, it'll flip to green automatically and it'll restart all those services. This is your help section and it's a, a really well written help section. If you need to do something, take a moment and read through here. It's very good. This up here is where you can select different profiles. I really can't think of a scenario where an end user would be using this. What you want to see is the clock here, this way it is, and this the way it is. If you double click on this one, you get a red hand. And what it means is it's locked on one, and it's not going to ever change the profile. That's okay, it'll work that way. If you click it once, it's on a clock, and the profile, um, whatever is scheduled to change in the profile, it'll do its normal things. So either here or here is fine. Anything other than that is probably going to interrupt your record schedules. So for, for all intents and purposes, don't use this. This is where we would control a PTZ if you had one down here. If, if you notice, as I go to different buttons on the screen, we get information here. Console for Blue Iris Service. If we go up here and we click on this, it tells us what all these things are. So this is our little cheat, if you will. Our little cheat sheet tells us what these things are. If you have multiple cameras, you can right click on the screen and you can go to open in desktop window and it'll populate all the cameras that you have. If you only have one camera like myself, you can right click on that camera and you can uncheck open in desktop and then that one camera you have will go back full screen. If we come over here, this is the clips, this is the playback section. You know you're in live when you see cameras up here, that means you're in live screen. When we go to clips and we say, you know what, uh, play this video for me. You notice it changes from clips to viewer. And now we're in the playback section. I'll do a separate video on how all the playback works. To go back to live view, you just left click down here on cameras and live view comes back up and everything that you're going to be able to do with this camera will be in here and again uh, don't go into camera properties unless you're a technician or you've really spent some time reading up on how the software works there's no reason to go in there and deleting cameras probably not a good idea I don't recommend that so for all intents and purposes open in desktop window will give you multiple cameras Right clicking on the camera of interest will give you the live screen. And if you need to go into playback, you can come over here, click on a particular file. It immediately begins to play that file. 
and to go back to live screen you just click on the live camera down here on the left and you're back on live screen and that's just a simple overview of how things work on the blue iris software